What's going on the Nova squad? I am your host Nova. So we're going to be starting off with the New Year's with watching um, Mark Nomad uh, out of lunch. I did do a, a part one uh, actually a couple of days ago. So I think I should be able to actually finish up the actual, uh, the rest of the video. So this video is probably going to be like the next, like probably like 30 minutes long, whatever, but we're going to be pushing on through it and watching it. And I'm excited to, 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 to finish it uh, without further ado. Here we go. But, you know, either way, I'll see you at home later, honey. <laughs> and again, all jokes. I love a board. I paid for two last week. I'm a fan, right? <laughs> you remember? Come on. It's all jokes. A friend of mine, she works at Planned Parenthood. She loves that joke. And I was like, ah, I might have to get rid of it. People don't like it. She's like, no, no, you got to keep it. I was like, ah, I might get rid of it. She's like, no, no, you got to keep it. I was like, ah, I might get rid of it. She's like, no, no, you got to keep it. I was like, ah, I might get rid of it. I was like, don't tell me what to do with my body of work. She's like, every joke's a miracle. <laughs> But I don't want to upset anybody, you know? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't want to upset. That's not my intention, you know? I'm upsetting people on accident now. I was at a Starbucks recently. This guy handed my coffee. I went, hey, thanks, chief. This guy goes, ooh. <laughs> don't say chief. It's offensive to Native Americans. I was like, how is that offensive? He goes, whoa, don't say how. <laughs> Come on. How'd we get here? Weird times, weird times. Taking words away, you know, I get it. You know, words hurt people. Changing I get it. You know? But here's the thing. Everything. We're kind of in like a weird word prohibition. Can't say this, can't say that. That's why I feel like every now and then we should all go to a politically incorrect speakeasy. <laughs> Just somewhere we can all go to say horrible stuff and nobody cares. You got no hate in your heart. You don't want to hurt anybody. But if you can't say it there, give us a place you can. Right? You go down some creaky stairs. You bang on a big steel door. The guy's like, what's the password? Retarded. Get in here! <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's like the 90s again, you know? Because offensive yeah. words, they're like alcohol. Sure, you can abuse it. Sure, you can hurt people. If you do it responsibly, it's a good time, you know? <laughs> Just don't do it at work. Don't do it around kids, but go home, close the door, take the edge off. Ah, uh, midget. <laughs> right? I don't want to say little people. That's like drinking no duels. <laughs> but of course, I get it. I just, you know, find it funny. I get it. But here's the problem. We forget that no one's politically correct up here. We're all animals. You know, we're all trying to, we're all seeing the same thing. We're all thinking the same thing. No one's PC in their brain. That's just a filter you put on when you talk so you seem nice. Like, no one sees a hot girl bend over and thinks, look at that independent woman. I'd like to treat her equally. Ah, <laughs> 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 no, we're sick. Men and women. We're gross. But look where it's all gotten us. Doesn't it feel like the whole country's pent up? Feels like everybody's angry right now. We got white supremacists, protests, hate groups. It's weird you're allowed to be hateful in America as long as you're not specific. Isn't that weird? You know, if you're like, I hate Mexican people, everybody's like, oh my God, what a bigot, prejudice. But if you're like, I hate people, everybody's like, ha, fucking right. <laughs> Isn't that worse? People are angry now, man. I had one of those uh, White Lives Matter rallies go by my house the other day. I freaked out, then I realized, oh, it's just a half marathon. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. I don't know, just be a good person. What about that? Just be nice to people, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, a lot of it doesn't add up. I can't keep track of all the rules. Like, transgender, what do you think? <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go for a man, a woman? Go nuts. Well, go labia. <laughs> <laughs> What's the beef? Look, it's weird to hate someone because they're trans, right? But it's also weird to love someone because they're trans. Shouldn't you like them based on who they are as a person, content of the character? People are so phony. I love Caitlyn Jenner. Why? She mm. sucks. <laughs> She's against gay marriage or ran over a person. What's the good part? <laughs> then they go, well, they have hard lives. All right, well, so do midgets. <laughs> Why don't you talk about how much you like them? Where's that hashtag? I don't see any tweets about midgets. Who's got a hard on a midget? Hard to get around, hard to drive, hard to get work? No love. And look, I'm not anti-trans, but I am pro-midge. <laughs> I just don't get why we help one group and not another. It's just kind of trendy. And people say, well, trans aren't allowed everywhere. Well, you ever been to a roller coaster? Oh. <laughs> At least trans be accommodate with the bathrooms. Midgets, you ever seen how tall a toilet is? What? Imagine having to jump to take a dump. <laughs> Weird. No help, no, no support. I can't imagine that at all. And you know what's great about midgets? I got a couple midget friends. They're good eggs. You never see a midget complaining. Never. Every other group complains. Never a midget. Never see it on the news, sitting at a desk, legs dangling, a little fish egg. And... <laughs> Never. 
Every other group complains. I see women on the news, we have a glass ceiling. Midget's like, you're worried about the ceiling? Holy shit. I'm trying to fuck with this counter, baby. Interesting. See, I guess I'm too open-minded, because I support all transition, not just sexual. Why do we stop at sexual? I support transition of personality, transition of uh, opinion, right? Like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart got in trouble with some offensive tweets from years ago. Well, I'm not the same guy I was from years ago. I've transitioned. I used to have sex with 16-year-olds when I was 16. <laughs> oh, I'm Now I don't. Say. I'm different. Well, years <laughs> ago, he say. said some offensive stuff. Well, years ago, she won the men's relay. People change. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you support that and not that? Huh. It just tells me if I ever get into trouble now, I'm just gonna get a sex change because you gotta kiss my ass. Hey, Mark, we heard that interview from 10 years ago. <laughs> that was Mark. I'm Margaret. <laughs> yeah, Margaret. <laughs> I don't know. I support Kevin Hart also because he's a midget. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. But I don't know. Everything's weird now. You know, the news is insane, the internet's full of hate. I feel like it's the little things that keep you happy now. You gotta cherish the little things. I got a Snapple today. I love a good Snapple. I love that fun fact under the cap. <clears throat> it was a good one today. It said, uh, polar bears used to be brown, but through evolution, they turned white because police were shooting them. Wow. <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe they fit all that under the cap. Yeah. Ah, yes. A lot of racial talk now. White privilege. That's a term you hear a lot now. White privilege. But I thought it was all about diversity. So shouldn't we talk about everybody's privileges? Why are we just limiting it to whitey? Let's spread the love. Let's make every group feel good. Everybody's got something. Tall people, privilege, see at a concert. Jews, no hell. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Women, ladies night, that's cool. Black people, I can't wear a purple suit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fun. Everybody's got a perk. Indian people, even if you're undateable, your parents will arrange something, huh? <laughs> Let's spread the love. <laughs> Who's got the energy to be racist, huh? That's got to suck to be racist. Wouldn't that be yeah. weird? Just like you go to the bank, you're like, ah, oh, there's Jews here. I got to leave. <laughs> what a horrible life. <laughs> Man, put on an outfit, go to a Hatch meeting, all that stuff. I don't care about any group enough to hate it. Do whatever you want. Go nuts. I don't, I don't want to do anything. I'm lazy. I don't want to burn a cross or a calorie. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's worked up about something. Uh, these, there's Muslims on airplanes. Well, I'd rather a Muslim on a plane than a baby. <laughs> I've never had a Muslim kick the back of my seat and piss in the aisle. <laughs> I'm just saying if the airport had a baby ban, I wouldn't protest. <laughs> Yeah, but transgender, they're using the bathrooms. Well, they're still using the toilet, right? They're not leaving a hot floater in the sink. <laughs> if that was like their thing, then yeah, we should totally have a meeting. That's crazy, you know? <laughs> then you get the hillbilly guy. Well, what if one of these perverts puts on a dress and looks at my wife in the bathroom? Ooh, what a score. Some guy can see your toothless wife shitting. <laughs> what a lucky guy. Come on, go to work, you lunatic. But hey, we've come a long way. We hate to admit that. We hate to admit it, we've come a long way. Like in the 50s, we had whites only and blacks only water fountain, which is incredibly sad, especially if you're a thirsty Asian. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Drinking out of a faucet? No one talks about it. Never come up once, not a peep. <laughs> Nothing. Black people are pissed. Can you believe this shit? We got our own water fountain. Asian like, can I get a sip? I'm dying out here. <laughs> I got a triangular hat to block the sun. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Asians. I think they're the best group. I think they're number one. I don't think they get the credit they deserve. I'm an Asian supremacist all the way. I think they're better than the rest. Any Asian people here? Hey, all right. You should be working. Come on. What are you doing having a good time? That's not the Asian I know, God damn it. I want you dealing blackjack or sitting on a box peeling something. Come on. <laughs> Big fan. Best group. Easily the best group. No love. You guys get the short on the chopstick. It's pretty unfair. Wow. So quiet. So secure, Asians. Every other group's got to brag and boast. Every group's got a slogan. Black people, I'm black and I'm proud. White people, white power. Hispanics, ay 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 ay. <laughs> Not an Asian. Asian just head down, grades up. That's it. <laughs> Asian the bet. You never hear about Asian crime. Never. If I was an Asian guy, I would just start mugging people and be like, hey, it's my word against yours. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Oh, yeah. I think the news is a problem. The news pins us all against each other. News makes it seem like all white people are scared of minorities. I don't think all white people are scared of minorities. I do think a lot of white people are scared of looking racist. That's really the big fear with whitey. Like, if I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning, I, I see a sketchy-looking white guy coming towards me. I'm like, crap. I'm going to cross the street. 
If I'm walking down the street at four in the morning, I see a sketchy looking black guy coming towards me. I'm like, crap. I wish I could cross the street. (laughs) (laughs) I'd rather get stabbed and look like an asshole. (laughs) White people, we are so worried about looking ignorant and bigoted, I guess because of our history. Like, I I went skiing recently with my friend. We're sitting on the ski lift. I was like, why do you see more black people skiing? Why is that? My friend has no idea, but he's going to, you know, half-ass his way through it because he doesn't want to seem dumb. So he's like, ah, you know, they don't grow up with it. Like, well, I'm from Louisiana. I'm here. Wow, ski is very expensive. Ah, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I've never seen a black guy with anything expensive on their feet. Mm. (laughs) Just say you don't know. It's all right. You sound way worse. That's why black people are smarter. White people, we do crazy stuff. We swim with sharks. We go bungee jumping, cliff diving. Ask a black guy, why do they do that? They go, I don't know. That's white people shit. (laughs) That's a good answer. Mm. They don't sit around going, well, you know, Europe. (laughs) Well, I just had a... Like, ease yeah. your way out of it, but, uh, but look, yeah, I'm a white guy. If I talk about race now, for some reason, another white person, Ebley, calls me racist. That's, like, what we do. It's like, I know you're trying to seem like a hero, but you're going to ruin that word. You're going to take the teeth out of it. It's like an important word. You're going to ruin it. Like, I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> and the guy yeah. next to them caught me. He goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What, are you racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you talking about? I'm hard. What? I'm not a racist. I'm aroused. It's okay, an important word. People abuse it all the time. A friend of mine, she's Puerto Rican. We grew up together. She's like, I hate going to the gym. The white women there all give me the stink eye because they're racist. I was like, damn, what happened? She's like, well, first bring my food in and I eat it. Then I play my music really loud. I'm like, oh, maybe they just hate you. <laughs> Let's not lump together all of Puerto right, Rico because you're being a twat. Right? Do you're being inconsiderate and rude. Take a little ownership. Look within. You can't blame everything on bigotry. Right. Look, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was a bedwetter. I'd sleep at their houses. Eventually, they stopped inviting me over. I was like, ah, they hate white people. No, I ruined their fucking furniture. Yeah, like, they didn't hate white. They hated yellow. Sorry. Right. <laughs> right. mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, damn. I like all the groups. I just make jokes, you know? Remember jokes? Yeah. I met a nice girl in that Jewish app. What's that Jewish app called? The Jewish one? Uh, what's the Jewish app? Uh, uh, the other one. The other one. Uh, PayPal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going pretty well. Yeah. A lot of ladies here tonight. That's exciting. I feel like this is like your time, ladies. This is like the year of the woman, you know? I went to the Women's March in Manhattan. That was cool. Although I got to say, I haven't heard the word pussy yelled that much since that time I rollerbladed to high school. (laughs) That was a tough morning. Yeah. It's kind of crazy what women go through, isn't it? Like some guys just like whip it out and stuff in front of women. That's wild. That's bold. See, I have a penis, so I'm not that scared of new ones. But I guess if you don't have a penis, a new one's got to be pretty scary. The closest I can get to that feeling is once I was hanging out with a friend and he just took out a gun. I was like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, well, you know I had a gun. I'm like, yeah, but we're at Whole Foods. Because <laughs> a dick and a gun are very similar. If somebody pulled out either one right now, we'd all be like, whoa, is that meant for me? Jesus Christ. Jesus Don't point it at me. me. Damn. Dick and a gun, very similar. Both pointy. They shoot things. They come in different sizes. You can get a pistol or a shotgun. I'm circumcised, so I'm sawed off. <laughs> but I guess... Guys, you do that, just get confused. Because ladies, sometimes you like a penis. So guys think, hey, she liked one last night. Why wouldn't she like one by the copy machine? Women are so complex. Because yeah. <laughs> I think, generally speaking, when it comes to sex, I think men are a little more constant. You know, men like boobs, but we like boobs across the board. Boob in the bedroom, great. Boob on the bus, also great. <laughs> okay. Dick in the bedroom, great. Dick on the bus, call the police. <laughs> Nobody's calling the police on a boob. You see a boob out in the wild, it's like seeing a deer. You're like, shh. It's majestic. Look, there's two now. Then your other friend walks up, hey, look at that, a boob. You're like, ah, you spooked it. Come on. Yeah. We're cracking down on sexual harassment finally. That's good. You know who gets sexually harassed more than women? The one group? Pets. Yeah. Nobody ever gets consent from a dog. Nobody. People just pick it up, kiss it on the face, rub its belly, do that weird, creepy, long pet where you grab the tail at the end. I knew so. We're creepy as hell with dogs. And we sound like creeps. They like it. They're begging me for it. Yeah. 
Thank God dogs can't talk, we'd all go to jail, right? <laughs> Just some chihuahua in a courtroom, like, first he flipped me over. <laughs> first he flipped me over? <laughs> then he caressed all eight of my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> then he slapped me on the ass repeatedly and said, you're a good girl, good girl. Oh, God. We harass dogs all day long, and they're perfect to harass, and they can't talk, so they'll never report you. That's why they're man's best friend. <laughs> yeah. Also, dogs forget stuff after, like, two seconds. You could stick your finger up a dog's ass and be like, well, that was weird. Frisbee! <laughs> all right, so that was going to be part two of the Mark Norman everything. Yes, I know I said we were going to try to go finish this up, whatever. But I do have some other videos I need to to actually uh, re re record. Um, so so what I thought of the thing and think about this uh, special so far, it is you know very different. Uh, the way that uh, Mark actually um, presents his jokes and everything, it is really um, interesting and very um, almost say straightforward. But like it has like a, a different like like a nervous like uncomfortable feeling whatever but I, I really do enjoy the special so far i do so if you guys really enjoyed this reaction today make sure you hit that like button subscribe and share let me know in the comment section down below what you want to react to next thank you so much for watching and as always my name is nova and i see you guys next episode peace